the smartest man in the room, I give you the professor. You're, you're the smartest man in the room? No, surely you're like a quarter of the smartest man in the room. Oh, yes, this explains. You're, wow. So, a fifth. Well, like a, a fifth being involved in this, in this makes a lot of sense now that you mention it. <laughs> Awkward drinking joke, moving on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in order to have a professor, you must have enough room for the giant brain that the professor has. For example, if you were to chop it into five pieces, it might just fit in the massive craniums of these cavemen. <laughs> so, for example, if we unite their brains, <laughs> now they can say hello. Hello, professor. Hello. I am glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. And now the professor is online, active, and capable of answering your most interesting scientific questions. Can I please get a question for the professor? What is pudding skin? What is pudding skin? <laughs> well, you clearly must rotate your pudding around its axis. And then you must shave your skin. <laughs> like I said, absolute genius. Can I get another question for the professor? What makes bioluminescence? What makes bioluminescence? You see, bioluminescence is just the light that illuminates the pie in my oven. Hmm. All right. We have another question for the professor, perhaps. Why do people fall in love? Why do people fall in love? Ah, uh, you must fall down. And then fall back up. <laughs> it's deep, but I think we all really get it. Let's hear it for the professor. <laughs> now, with this much cranium, clearly we could fit more than just the professor inside those skulls. Shuffle them up. And now I ask you a simple question. If it's not the professor, who is this character that's going to answer your questions? The doctor? Moriarty? Moriarty. Another professor. <laughs> but one of a different flavor, one might say. So what, are we, what would we like to know about, uh, from, uh, from Moriarty? How do we fix global warming? Professor Moriarty, how do we fix global warming? Simple. You kill everyone and then you shave their faces. <laughs> Takes a slightly different tack, doesn't it? <laughs> Another question for Moriarty. In the song, relax, don't do it, when you want to go do it, what is it supposed to be? What is it that they're supposed to be doing? Well, that is a clearly elementary answer. Like being stupid. Now, there's no reason to get ugly. Yes. Relax. Don't do it. <laughs> there's a question in the back of the room. <laughs> yes. Is his wife a woman or a fish? A mermaid. A mermaid. Oh, is a mermaid a woman or a fish? Are you married to a mermaid? Some days, yes. <laughs> that really is a fascinating question. You are clearly not an awesome <laughs> person, or you are something totally crazy. This is a little nasty. Let's shuffle them up one more time. Can we get something a little nicer? Barney, Barney the dinosaur is here today. 
Does anyone have any questions for the innocent, lovely Barney the Dinosaur? Why are you purple, Barney? Cyanide. <laughs> Good answer. We have another one for Barney. Why shouldn't Russ kill them all? Why should Russ not kill them all, Barney? Well, you. See, everyone is warm inside. And they could leak outside. <laughs> Barney scares me. Well, he is a dinosaur. Barney scares the crap out of me. We have one more question for the famous Barney the Dinosaur. What would really happen if all the rain drops and were lemon drops and gum drops and all that? You know that song about all the rain drops and lemon drops and gum drops? Would you come up here, please? Would you, would you, would you, would you mind? <laughs> Just come on, give her a hand. Now, if you would sing that one more time, we'll all be able to hear it. Okay. Uh, three jumps for lemon drops and gum drops. Oh, what a world it would be. I stand outside with my mouth open wide. Ready? So, what would really happen? Yes, they give what her a huge hand. What would that be? Pain sure that inside and pain outside. <laughs> I think that about says it all. Let's hear it for the professor, Dr. Moriarty, and Barney the Dinosaur. Well, that was just classy, wasn't it? <laughs>